Hello, this is Paul from Quicken Mobile and in the course of this video I'm going to show you how to attach the leg rest apparatus to either the Air Hawk, the Electra 7, or the Eagle. What we need is very simple, it just is several parts. Starting with the toolkit that comes in the basket underneath your chair, you're going to see that you have an instruction manual, a seat belt, and of course you have some tools. So out of the two wrenches, out of the two Allen wrenches, you're going to need the bigger wrench. You're also going to have a couple parts here that I'll show you. We have a bracket and we have the post that you can see attached to the other side of the chair. You're going to, in essence, attach this on the outside of the chair. So we take a, a look here. We're able to use the outside pins here to stabilize the actual footrest and the other side allows that to, uh, to latch. And of course, then we have another piece of material that we like to use here. So we get um, a better traction. We hold the piece together a little bit more efficiently and most importantly, probably, we don't actually scratch the device. So I'm going to hand the camera off and what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a couple things here. Now let's just decide that you wanted to get your own piece of uh, material, something thin, a piece of rubber is perfect. And if we take a, a look at the measurements, we're looking at approximately two and a half inches by approximately one and a half inches. Very important. So what we're going to do here is focus on a couple of things. For starters, I want to make certain that I'm allowing this bracket to open wide enough to the point where I can efficiently get the material here in either side. And the first thing I'm going to do is make certain that I can actually get this tight to the chair, which I can. So let's take a look at the side here. And we're seeing that I'm putting this as, as close to the caster as possible. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do here, of course, we want this to be on the top of the chair. I'm going to angle this out just slightly because I, I want to make certain that I get a good ledge here for the actual device to snap into. And we're going to start to tighten everything up. I'm going to take my time tightening. And a couple things that I would like to caution you on or kind of make you or bring to the front center of your attention is that these parts really need to be very securely tightened or very securely fastened. So if you feel that you might not have enough strength in your hands to do this, I definitely advise you to have somebody else finish the tightening process. And you can see here, I'm kind of angling the pins to the point where I have this out enough so that I can have a good platform to actually attach the bracket. As always, we don't edit any of our videos, so everything that you see here is in real time. I do have a relative amount of strength in my hands, so I can probably do this on my own, but we have had people that we've spoken with that have had other people help them out with this job, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that safety first as far as I'm concerned. Now, a couple of the things that I do want to point out now that we're really getting this nice and tight onto the chair is that you can see that the battery itself doesn't come out. So we take a look at the joystick here, the front of the joystick. That charges both of the batteries of the chair. You're going to plug the battery charger in just like that or right into the joystick, but we can leave these here when the chair folds up. So the next part that I want to look at, now always this part goes on the outside of the chair itself. So that way if we look at the top here, we can see that the leg rests are in their appropriate place. We have a, a latching mechanism that opens up here and I'm going to attach the pins, open the latching mechanism and make certain that I have enough to hold this into place, which I did a great job of. Now, let's take a look at a couple of the other features of the actual 
li leg lifts themselves. This pad folds up and gets out of the way if need be. This pad folds up and gets out of the way. Let's take a look down at the bottom and the side of the leg rest here. We have um, an apparatus that allows you to shorten or lengthen the leg rests. See how that works. And this is an anti uh, an anti rattle device. So it actually provides tightness to avoid these things rattling. The other part we have you can pull the lever and you can see that this device will kind of straighten out a whole lot more. And of course if we need to get this out of the way we absolutely can. Or if we pull here we can modify the device in a lot of different ways. So we're just kind of dropping that down. That releases it, lets me adjust where I want the device. I let it go, and there we go. So let's take a look here at the leg rest from this top. I just want to recap a couple of things. Um, these are always on the outside right here. I have put my protective material on. Um, for the purpose of this video, I didn't tighten it as much as I should have, but it still works. You, what, I can't emphasize you can't get this too tight. And when you want to get the leg rest off, see what I'm doing there? I just open this latch, they swing out, and they just lift up so I can easily take both leg rests off of the chair. And if I want to fold the chair up at that point, I can. These posts right here will allow me to attach, attach the leg rest or take them off as I please. And just like we indicated, you can't pull the batteries out, but you can charge both the batteries at the same time in the joystick. And of course, if you want to charge the batteries, make certain if you want to charge the batteries directly in the battery or remove the batteries from the chair, this comes off and then the batteries come out. So we hope that this helps. Please visit our website for additional information. And of course, we have the Allen wrench that you would need that makes all the magic happen. Thank you for watching and we hope that you enjoy your leg extensions.